Good morning students of class 10. Today we are again doing the same topic that is the peasant revolt and the workers movement in India. And the earlier day we have completed like the role of Nehru in UP, role of Baba Ramchandra in UP, the peasant revolt in United Province, in Gujarat, Punjab, Bengal. Today we are going to start the peasant revolt in Andhra. So in Andhra Pradesh, Venkati Appa and O.T. Prakashan led the leadership of the farmers to stop paying taxes. The leaders of Andhra Pradesh first tried to mold the farmers in paying taxes as they were overburdened with taxes and by leading the leadership of the farmers, they first led the farmers to stop paying the taxes. Then, Sitarama Aluri Sitaraman Raju was the leader of Rumpa revolt. This was a new kind of revolt which was separate from Venkati Appa and Yoti Prakashan leadership of farmers. These were two separate revolts. The uh, Sitaraman Raju was the leader of Rumpa revolt. <clears throat> it was a new kind of revolt as it transformed the farmer's revolt into a guerrilla warfare. This was the first time where the peasants were also armed and they realized that a kind of warfare, that is the tactics, this was the first time that we have already learned in the earlier video clips that how the farmer's revolt were not so well organized and neither so well <coughs> participated by the farmers. But this time they were good tactics was applied as well as the farmers were well organized. This was a condition of Rumpa revolt. Who, who was the leader? Aluri Sitaraman. Then we will come to Deccan. In Deccan, Yaqub Hassan led the leadership of Malabar revolt. Yaqub Hassan was the leader of the Malabar peasant revolt in the Malabar district. And later on, he also after the killing of Raju and suppression of Rumpa revolt by the government, he took the leadership of the Rumpa revolt. And this revolt became under his reign, which was also tried to suppress by the government. This revolt was again, was tried to su uh, suppress by the government. NG Ranga formed the Riot Sabha. This was another organization of the farmer. NG Ranga led to the formation of Riot Sabha, which was seen that the, the, neither the South, the places of South India were also participating in the peasant revolt, but it was slightly different from the other provinces as it had an objective, as it had good leaders and it had well organized and well known program or program of action in their mind. Then we will come to the important movement that is the Ika movement. The word Ika means unity. This was the first time when the farmers realized that in order to make a movement successful, the foremost thing that is required is unity. In any kind of movement, to be successful, the most important thing is unity. So in this case, the farmers' unity was necessary, where, the, where all the farmers would be well organized in their objective of and program of action. So this movement started in Hardoi, Sitapur and Barbanki. And this revolt was started by the Congress leader Madari Pasi. He was a Congress leader who started the movement called the Ika movement. In this Ika movement, the Congress leader led the movement, but it was also joined by different leaders coming from different communities, which made the Ika movement a more powerful movement, which spread to other areas. Like we will see the principal objective of this movement was a bit different from the other objective of the other peasant and farmers revolt. How? The farmer would pay taxes in cash. The farmers were often forced to sell their cultivated crops as well as to give away money by what surplus was sold by them. 
and that they would pay both things that is the cultivated crops as well as money it was decided in this eka movement that the farmers would pay only and only taxes in kind of cash or money it was also seen that they would not be paying any cultivated crops they would be paying only in cash and not in kind it was first thing that was decided by them then it was seen that bed bigari system would not be followed what is bed bigari bed bigari means forceful labor that they would be paid for the labor they will do on their lands they would not be forced the farmers the farmers would no longer be forced they would only pay taxes that and they would only pay taxes that is legally applied on them and they would be paid for the work they will do on the cultivated ground another thing they would no oppression of zamindars as the farmers were very much suppressed and oppressed by the zamindars this was another very important point that was included in this objective verse they would no longer they would no longer be oppressed by the zamindars who inflicted tortures on them another thing was that no illegal collection of tax the taxes that is legal that could be only applied on them and they will be pay only those legal taxes no overburden of taxes no eviction of peasants uh, many times it was seen that if the peasants were unable to pay taxes or if they did not do work according to the pleas of the zamindars they would be thrown out of the land this was another important point that was included that no illegal eviction of peasants from their own land next thing was to pay only recorded taxes the taxes that was recorded in government documents that would be only paid by the peasants this was seen as a movement by this principal object it is very clear that this movement had a very good leader and not only it was led by a congress leader but it was also joined by different communities so it had support of different communities leaders also this means that it was a strong movement and it was also seen the points that was included in this revolt was very much strong and very much reasonable at that point of time so this movement was seen by the government as a very uh what you can say that it was a very dangerous movement that could even shake the government office and so because of this the movement was suppressed and madari pasi was arrested today up to this we will see that how this up to this we have seen ika movement the next way next day we will see that bardoli satyagraha next day we will begin with bardoli satyagraha with this video clip your pdf will be attached thank you